beautiful friends it's Amanda here and it is time for part two of my best of 2021 series part one was my top 10 ColourPop palettes of the year and now we're getting into the best of the best face and cheek products anything from primer all the way up to blush and highlighter that's what's included in today's video before I get into my favorite products of the year, I just want to give you a couple of reminders. The first thing is favorites are very personal. I like these things based on my own personal preferences, but also my skin type and my personal style. I may love something that really, really doesn't work for your style or for your skin type and vice versa. So just keep in mind things like favorites are very 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 subjective. I have super dry skin and I prefer very light coverage, very natural finish type of products. I love dewiness, I love a casually sweaty cheek. So the stuff that I love really isn't gonna work for somebody who prefers really high coverage, who likes matte finishes, and that doesn't make either one of us wrong. It just means that our favorites are different. You and your beautiful face are still my favorites, even if we disagree. I take my favorites very seriously, perhaps too seriously, because I make my best of the year lists for many, many weeks and I revise them and I retest things and basically I become a little bit obsessed with getting the exact right favorites. That also means that there are some categories where I won't have a best of the year. For example, something like eyeliner. I don't wear eyeliner so I'm not going to have a best eyeliner of 2021, it just wouldn't make sense. But I do wear a lot of blush. I love blush, so I'll have more than one best of the year. I try to stick to things that are just released in this year. That way you can go back over all of my best of the year favorites and there will be different products because I'm trying to stay focused on what released in that past year. Let's start with my favorite primer of the year. My top favorite of the year is this NYX Marshmallow Primer and I actually am on my second sample size and I've already ordered a full size because I absolutely love this. I thought nothing would be as good as my Pretty Fresh primer from Colourpop. I find myself reaching for this all the time. It feels great. My makeup always looks fantastic on top of this and it smells really good. It smells like a marshmallow so I love that. I really don't have a favorite foundation of the year and that's mostly because I barely wore any foundation this year. This was definitely a year where I just fully embraced the fact that I love tinted moisturizers and I'm really more of a skin tint type of girl versus looking for more coverage. As my personal style has changed, I've just gone for lighter and lighter coverage. Now the closest thing to a foundation that I enjoyed this year comes from Urban Decay. This is their Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. This is a medium coverage and in my experience this performs a lot like a really hydrating foundation. I do get a great amount of coverage out of this and this is the closest thing to a foundation that I have used and loved this year. I also really like mixing this with the next two products that I'm going to talk about. These have a lighter coverage and an even dewier finish which is my preference and that's why I've ended up mixing the Hydromaniac with one of these most of the time. This is from Huda Beauty. It's the Glowish Multi-Dew Skin Tint. And this is by far the glowiest. This has a very similar finish to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is kind of a surprise favorite for me because the packaging really threw me off of this product, but this is the Sunshine Skin Tint from Milk Makeup. I absolutely love the finish this gives me. And when I'm doing my day to day, just kind of tap on a little bit of makeup, this has been honestly such a godsend for that because this looks fantastic. It's so light. It just blends right into my skin. It really looks and feels like a second skin. So for my favorites in terms of coverage, 
this is the most, this is kind of the middle ground, and then this is the lightest coverage. And I love to customize my coverage and my finish by picking two of these and mixing them together to really get the finish that I'm looking for for that day. I have only one favorite concealer of the year, and that's the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. I could not wear the original Shape Tape. It was so matte, it was so full coverage. I see why a lot of people love the original Shape Tape because it does have an insane amount of coverage. That just didn't really work for me and the type of looks that I prefer are a lot lighter, a lot dewier, and this is really the perfect answer to that. I also very much like mixing this with my beloved ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. This is in a slightly brightening shade, so when I mix those two together, I get a little bit of extra coverage from the Pretty Fresh Concealer. This brings a little brightness and a lot more hydrated, moisturized looking, especially in that under eye area. Did not expect it, never thought I would be sitting here showing you a Shape Tape Concealer as one of my favorites, but you know, people change. Here we are. Speaking of Shape Tape, we might as well talk about this Shape Tape Glow Powder, also from Tarte. Mine looks a mess and that's because I use it all the time. I really don't know why they chose to name this Shape Tape and introduce this powder as part of the Shape Tape family. Maybe they're just trying to get away from that really matte, full coverage only type of vibe that the original Shape Tape name evokes between the Ultra Creamy Concealer and this, which is a very, very glowy powder. Doesn't really make sense, but I don't really care what it's called though because I love this powder. I'm wearing it today. I've either worn this or the other powder that I'm gonna talk about pretty much every single day, all year long. You can tell by just how dirty and how beat up my powder compact is. I absolutely despise the packaging on this. I wish the packaging was less cheapy. It looks and feels very inexpensive, so I wish that I was having a more luxurious packaging experience because I do use this every single day. The packaging just feels like kind of cheapo drugstore packaging, but the powder is so beautiful. It makes my skin so glowy. It melts into whatever product I have underneath. I never look powdery. I never look cakey. It just gives me this radiance. I love it. I love it. I can't believe there are two Shape Tape products in my favorites, but here we are. Like I mentioned, there is another powder favorite in today's video. This is a powder that originally I thought was just okay, but the more I used it, the more I grew to love it. This is the Glowish Luminous Pressed Powder from Huda Beauty. This is another one, I don't think you can tell on camera, but I've already put such a big dent in here. Once I started using this with a denser brush, I really fell in love with this. You can actually get a lot of coverage from this powder and it ends up being like a powder foundation. But for my very dry, very 36 year old skin, powder foundation can usually go awry very quickly. And this looks so healthy, so natural. Again, just a luminous, all over, very healthy glow. Two powders in a favorites video. Didn't see it coming, but I'm glad we're here. I don't have a new favorite setting spray from this year, so we're gonna jump into the cheek color favorites now. As expected, it's mostly blush, so I have one bronzer and one highlighter. We may as well just talk about this glowish bronzer since I just finished talking about the glowish powder. The Huda glowish line just really, really hit the nail on the head for me, obviously this year. I love the marbling in here because I can really customize my color if I wanna do a more pronounced bronze then I stay more towards this darker section on top. If I wanna do something a little bit more naturally sun-kissed, then I just kind of swirl all over. The finish on this powder is so silky. It's luminous without being shiny or glittery at all. It just plays so well with these other favorites that I've mentioned to give me an all over, very moisturized, glowy, always going for the casually sweaty cheek look. And this bronzer is just 
so natural, so flattering. Very rarely do I fall in love with bronzers or get excited about bronzers, and I have not been able to put this one down, as you can tell, because I tap off my brush in the lid here. Now let's talk about my favorite highlighter of the year. This is from a new-to-me brand, M Cosmetics. I've now placed a couple orders, and I've just fallen in love across the board with all of the M Cosmetics formulas, and this was really a standout for me this year. This is the Moonbeam Cushion Highlighter. I use the shade Aura. I'm wearing it today, and it just is such an effortless looking highlighter. It blends into my skin and plays well with my other makeup products enough that it looks very natural, but it's definitely there. It's definitely shiny. Nobody is missing the fact that there's a little highlighting going on there. It's so well balanced. The texture is lovely. It's easy to use. My only one complaint is that my packaging is broken. It doesn't fully close, but I don't care. I love the formula of this. This is by far the best highlighter of the year for me. Now let's talk about my favorite thing in this video, and that's blush. I have five blushes to talk about today. I'm surprised it's not more, frankly. And only one of the five is a powder blush, because I was cream blush crazy this year. I don't plan on stopping that next year, but I did have one favorite powder blush, and I actually have a subscriber to thank for this. This was a subscriber suggestion, and you were right. I love this blush. This is from Catrice. It's the Cheek Lover Oil Infused Blush. Right now they only offer this one shade. It's called Blooming Hibiscus, and in the video where I hauled this and tried it on, I compared this to NARS Orgasm Blush, the cult favorite. This is a great dupe for NARS Orgasm, and I actually like the formula on this a little bit better. You can tell it has that beautiful peach to gold shift. You were right, you know me so well. This is definitely one of the best of the year for me. My next favorite is actually sort of a multi-purpose tint. I have used it on both my lips and my cheeks, so I'm including it here. This is an underrated, underhyped product. It's from Too Faced. This is the Peach Bloom Lip and Cheek Tint. My favorite is Strawberry Glow, just because I like the scent the best. They all ended up looking kind of the same. You definitely don't need more than one of these. This has sort of a gel-like texture, so it's quite different from a lot of other cheek tints. It's way different than something like the Benetint. It smells like a lip smacker. It's just really a great overall experience. This is probably a love it or hate it type of product, and personally, I love it. Speaking of a love it or hate it type of product, let's talk about the ColourPop Cheek Dews. These are their serum blushes, and I definitely think this is a polarizing product. You can tell based on how much of this tube I've used up that I am in the love it camp. My favorite shade is this one called Kiss Kiss. I love a dewy cheek. I love a warm terracotta nudie type of flush. And this Cheek Dew and Kiss Kiss is just hitting all the right notes for me. This also plays well with powder blushes. So if you want to layer up, I often like to wear far too many cheek products at one time. So this is something I will also layer with a little baked blush or a little super shock blush on top to just give me a really dewy, multi-dimensional looking cheek. I have two more blush favorites to talk about. This next one is very new to my collection, but from the moment I put it on, I have worn this every single day for like a month now. This is the Cream Blush Light from Melt Cosmetics. I absolutely love this formula. I have the shade Polished. It's so pigmented. It's so lovely. It just looks so, so good. I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't try this earlier in the year. I had this on my wish list at Sephora for so long and I never pulled the trigger and I totally missed out because I wish that I had been using this all year long. It's such a lovely cream blush formula. It wears all day. It melts into the skin. It just looks so beautiful. It's so easy to work with. I absolutely love it. I'm buying more shades now because this is 
for sure one of the top formulas that I tried this year. My very last blush favorite and my last favorite for this video, another one from Tarte. I think this is the best blush of the year and that's a really big statement for me. <laughs> This is the Maneater Blush and Glow. My favorite shade is Peachy Pink, but I have worn and loved all four shades that are available. I also like to mix two shades together to make my own custom color. I did do a whole video on this, so if you want to see this in action, you want to see more of the shades in action, you can definitely go and check that out. I can't believe how many Tarte products were in my favorites this year. It's crazy because I don't even really think of myself as buying or trying a lot of Tarte products, but we just had a lot of hits this year and I do think that overall, I know this is kind of a crazy thing to say because we're only now halfway through this series, this is one of the best products that launched all year. In my opinion, I love liquid blush, obviously I'm a blush fanatic, and this is so beautiful. Highly, highly recommend. If this hasn't been on your radar, Put, put it on your radar now because this is a fantastic product. So that rounds up all of my favorite face and cheek products of the year. We still have lips and eyes left to go. I would love to hear about your favorite products of the year. Do we have any of the same favorites? Is there anything that I didn't mention this year that you think I would love that I need to try? I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Is that you? That it? That wasn't gonna make sense. One try. What? What? It. Um, mm, I love that sound. I love it. I have clouds on my sweater and then my cloud earrings. That's why I didn't do blue eyeshadow because I thought that's gonna be too matchy. But isn't this so cute? Isn't this sweater so cute? I'm pretty sure it's sold out now. I'll see if I can find it online for you, but I love it. It's super soft and snuggly. It's so cute with my cloud earrings. Cloud earrings are from by Mel Klein, as most of my earrings are. Hoo hoo! Breezing through. We got two more left to go. Can I do it? I have to. I have to finish filming the series today. I'm gonna go charge my battery and just jump right back in. We totally got this. She said trying to convince herself. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. We're, we're in this together, right? Okay, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I absolutely love your face and I will see you soon. Okay, bye.